Hello, my name is Juan Lupe Delgado. I'm an SI tutor for the drafting department, and I'm sponsored by the Student Success Office. Our first step right here is to select a view, which we're going to use to make the section cuts. In this case, we're going to use a top view, which shows mostly our features right here, or holes. So since we're, since we're using this one, we're going to have to select our front view, because the, the line, this line represents the, where the cut is going to be made. We select our front view. We make a copy out of it. And we put it to the side. After we've done our copy, we're going to have to select our hidden lines. And once we select our hidden lines, we're going to make them objects, object lines. Because now that we cut through it, we're able to see those hidden objects that were hiding before. And right now, I'm going to trim this section right here. And the reason that we trim it is because when we cut through the material, the, that this line disappears and this just empty space now. Once we're done changing our lines to objects, we're going to hatch. Our hatching tool is right here below, below ellipse. We select it, and right now we're going to hatch whatever the machine, the machine cut through. In this case, the machine was able to cut through this and this feature right here. And this is where we're going to hatch, right here. We're going to press Escape, select our line again, and we're going to make it a hatching layer. And the reason that we only hatch this part is because this is only through where the machine cut. And this right here, all this that is not hatched, is because it's empty space, as we see right here. All this is empty space. And just by doing this, we make our section cut, which is required which is required in order to see what's inside the object and was not able to be dimensioned before then. Once again, my name is Guadalupe Delgado. I'm an SI tutor for the drafting department, and I'm sponsored by the Student Success Office.